Black Guy Flies RC here. Going to do an unboxing video for you. This is the OMP Hobby Super Decathlon plug and play, the red one. Um, I've been looking for this plane to come out for quite some time. OMP finally got it in the United States. And uh, even though it's an Ohio model product, so they're still Japanese from what I understand, or Oriental. One of it, or China or whatever. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not being trying to be offensive to our Oriental um, brethren out there. I just I'm stupid. <laughs> but uh, anyways, comes from OMP Hobby, and I'm very very pleased to get this plane. I wanted a decathlon. I, I've never had a decathlon. I've always wanted one, and. Uh, I came real close to that, I forget which brand, it's an off brand, it used to be a Hobby King brand, um, Decathlon that was foam, and Banggood had it for sale for like, with shipping, $256 as an ARF, you know, just a foam shell with paint on it and the hardware, so, you know, and, and I might get it in a month or so, so I said, no. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, yes, I want a decathlon, but I don't want a decathlon that bad. So whenever OMP came out with this one, I said to myself, oh, i got to have it. Um, it's a balsa and pine plane, but if you remember, the bighorn, that Best quality plane, probably the best quality I've ever seen in any aircraft. Absolutely phenomenal. But uh, this is the Super Decathlon. I got the red one. It comes in white or with red. And both with the red, uh, red, white, and blue kind of stickers. Um, but yeah. Now I won't be doing a build video on this because there's going to just just too many too many steps and I don't want to make a three hour long video um, because I'm uh, just, I just, I'm just not that good at making that many, that, that kind of a video, that, that many steps. Don't have the patience is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, absolutely, just like with a bighorn, everything so far looks beautifully um, prepared. Let me get all the pieces out. Take the pack, uh, the uh, packaging off. Okay. Right, you got it. Not and this time a nice color manual. Extra st some stickers. Uh, your rudder. Um, hardware. Um, these little wooden trays in here, in case you use a smaller servo, when you decide you want to use a smaller, smaller servo, but servos are installed, so why would you? But, uh, oh, this is nice. The wheel pants already on. So, get that off the side. Everything is in its own little cardboard tray. Everything's wrapped in plastic. Everything is protected. And here's your prop. Prop is a 13 by 7E prop. Your struts carbon fiber spar, and of course, last but not least, the fuselage. Once again, wrapped in its own plastic. Okay, let me pause for just a moment, undo everything, take everything out of its plastic, we'll come right back. Alright, we're back. Got all the pieces out of the box and everything out of its own little individual plastic um, wrapper. But I want to show you just a few things. 
the like the uh, horizontal stabilizer. Everything is protected. The control horn is here. Everything is protected for damage. I mean, quality. Okay, rudder. Your control arm is already installed. Already got your hinges installed. I mean, just got to some drop a CA on there on each one of those. <laughs> no problem. Wheel pants. Nice, hard fiberglass wheel pants already put together. With the graphics already on them. Very nice color manual. And uh, very easy to follow. And you can put notes on the back. Um, both the wing halves. They, this plane has lights. has a light in the front here. Light on each, each wing tip. Um, quality of the covering is just absolutely beautiful. Everything's nice. Hinges are already done for you. Everything's protected. This is where the reinforcements for the struts fall down. I forget what they're called. The veins, maybe. Everything's already wired. And interesting enough, you think, well, where's, you know, there's not a bag of nuts and bolts for, like, the landing gear. Well, just like with the Bighorn, your landing gear bolts are already in. You just undo them, put your landing gear in, and screw them back down. And uh, prop, like I said, that was 11, well, I don't even remember now. Should say on here. Um... Yeah, 13 by 7 prop. Runs on 4 cell. Now, here is your hatch up top for you to put your receiver and everything in. Okay? Here is where you put your battery in. Nice hatch, just like with the uh, big horn. Big, big battery bay. Plenty of room. Runs on a XT, XT60 connector. Um, you already have the little light controllers already installed there for you. Got your uh, lead off your um, ESC. And I don't remember, I want to say maybe it's a 60 amp ESC. I really don't remember, I'm sorry. Um, the motor is a Sunny Sky. Um, Twenty-eight twenty with a nine hundred and twenty kV motor. Can't remember the. I'm sorry, I don't remember the ESC. I think either forty or sixty. Nice carbon fiber uh, wing spar. So you got your rudder and everything's here now. One thing I want to discover right off the bat: putting this back on. There's a lip here. You have to fit this under that, and it goes right back in with some very strong magnets. And then all of this tray is lined with a thin carbon fiber reinforcement. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. This will not be, the only thing this might be time consuming is depending on the type of glue you use. Um, I'll just be putting the, the uh, horizontal stabilizer in and you have to glue your rudder in and then attach your uh, tail wheel to the bottom of your rudder with one screw that's included. But uh, then you got your little bag of uh, your push rods for your uh, elevator and your, uh, or for your ailerons, elevator and rudder. And this does not have flaps, there's no flaps. But it does have lights, and it's got some pretty big control surfaces. So I'm thinking we're going to get some pretty cool aer uh, aerobatics out of this. People are, that have flown this, which is very, there are very few videos out on this, have said if you can fly the Timber X and you enjoy that, then, you would, then you'll enjoy this plane. Um, very good quality. I think the build is going to be very simple for this type of a plane. The uh, OMP Hobby uh, Bighorn was a fabulous, fabulous build, and it went together with no problem at all. It also comes with really nice stickers. But um, there you go. That's everything. It's a very low part count. 
Oh, with the uh, wing struts, I do know from watching the OMP or Buddy RC official uh, uh, video, you have two sizes. You have the thicker ones, or the two in the middle, and the two thinner ones. The thicker ones go to the outer edge of the wing, and the thinner ones go in. And you have to kind of bend, these are metal, you do have to kind of bend the ends to make them line up on one screw where they adjoin to the fuselage, and then have to angle them where they adjoin to the pre-drilled uh, out places on the wings where the screws are already there. Looks like a two millimeter hex drive. I'll be willing to bet. Yep, two millimeter hex drive for almost everything. So there you go, folks. That's the unboxing and the parts. It's for this type of model. It'll be a very quick build, and you're going to be gluing two places: the elevator and the rudder, and uh, attaching your tail wheel. There are um, wires that go around your rudder, if you watch the instructions, and you pull them to loop them, and then there's some little clamps that come, um, whether you, just, you measure it all, well, you don't see how much you measure it, but you run through, loop them, and then get them fairly tight, and then you clamp them down with the uh, provided clamps. So you use a small needle nose for that. All right, that should be it, should be pretty simple. Y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the OMP Super Decathlon, the red version. And remember, folks, faith, family, friends, and then planes. Bye, y'all.